my next step is uh, I've done mostly the trimmers on well, one side and um, this is the level where our roof will join into so I've made one uh, the one which I need to support the rafters because we first will form this roof this main roof and then we put the ridge board through and we'll put the and we'll go and form that one and as a uh, valleys we'll use just four by two or six by two on a side nailed onto this roof uh, to take the rafters jack rafters uh, next step once you've done that is to cut a rafter um, so like a pattern so I've done one here which once you wiggle in a position it fits because obviously this end is slightly off if you like because well not off but slightly wiggly so I'm gonna have to fix it as and when uh, I do get to this end but then you check your pattern sure it fits nicely and snug and then that uh, gives you a pattern to cut the other pieces um, so just work out how many you need I think I need like 10 after ends um, which are gonna cut and yeah so basically that's that um, so today just want to catch up with you on the job we're doing so I've started uh, pitching this roof so the ridge is in in a place um, I'll go around show you we've done the um, back part of the roof pretty much as you can see it's been all trimmed up and uh, and 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 uh, pretty much finished got a few things we need to do but uh, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I didn't manage to film it because I had technical issues with my um, cameras. Uh, for some reason, it just would cut out. So I hope I have managed to fix it. If not, I'm going to look for different uh, cameras uh, so which I could use in future. So <clears throat> here you can see I've used 40... Uh, 4x2 for the valleys um, so what I did uh, I obviously went from point of the 4x2 to point of 4x2 and that way you know that it will uh, follow your uh, roof line uh, and first before I did that I had three rafters in I had this rafter middle rafter and the end rafter and then I, <clears throat> by using 4x2 on it obviously being flat, um, I've created the valley so it's strong enough to take rafter ends and stuff. So the other thing we will have to do, we're going to have to infill these bits. I got some 4x1, it's just to catch the pattern. So um, so we'll probably use some uh, offcuts of 4x2 or I got some 4x1 as well depends what we have more of it so um, just want to go through yeah it's such a shame I did start filming it but I just uh, unfortunately because the batteries I used to have they just all um, went dead suddenly but I suppose it, you know that happens with the time but uh, yeah so uh, with these hangers uh, they are 100 millimeters wide uh, so unless you push it in which I didn't do because I didn't really know um, which way I'm gonna go with it either against this side or other side I what you can do here you can uh, <coughs> get plywood um, you know nine mil six mil ply uh, cut a piece like that which we will do I'll get ply uh, I'll see 
maybe I can find some off cuts somewhere or if not we're gonna have to get one sheet so we can cut just uh, you know pieces to fit between wood and the hanger so there's not that gap and then now through that uh, on all of the doubles pretty much we need to do that so here uh, just walk through with you so we need to fit two more um, joists ceiling joists which I haven't done at the moment because it's just easier for me to walk under um, so so I'll just show you here we've done the bridge um, our uh, pitch is 41 so that's we walking a um, walking to uh, here we're gonna have on this side um, a trough gutter which we'll see I would like to get it out side of the roof because uh, uh, then that deals with that we don't need any down pipes anything like that um, you can because we're gonna do this in fiberglass uh, these box gutters so we can get a fitting which has got a uh, outlet <coughs> to go through the wall and because of the height where we are um, actually that will work out if I fit the outlet here <coughs> in, uh, that would then um, deal with this part of the roof um, and here we gonna have to have one outlet at the front and um, also we're gonna have to have a um, <coughs> down pump <coughs> Cause yeah i don't see other way how we could do that um to obviously direct this water this wall will be built up slightly more that's just uh, enough for me to put joist hangers in and to pitch my roof <coughs> it will be probably same as the uh, rear revelation about six bricks above um the uh roof line that gives us enough to uh, form the box cut. So we're gonna have to do the same on that side and same on this side as well. Um, we're gonna have to create a box cutter. So um, that's what we will be dealing with. <coughs> Just to direct water out. Um, and yeah, so that's where we are with this. Uh, built at the minute and uh, I will try to record hopefully it will so my next step is get all the other joists in I need to cut more uh, for joist hangers on this side because this side wasn't built at all uh, well you'll see in the previous videos this was built to this height so that will be my next job to cut these in I think I start marking yeah you can see there uh, so so yeah the once we've done that once we obviously built uh, you got other things such as uh, nailing in joist hangers we need to resin in uh, hangers it's themselves um, and then obviously lastly this row of joists, this is like for the um, uh, for you to uh, be able to store, have a storage above your ceilings. Um, so that's that's all it does really. This ceiling bit, this ceiling level here. So it will allow for some sort of storage room. Um, uh, so yeah, you you don't waste the space basically. <coughs> Uh, obviously here what we'll have to put we'll put a uh, plate uh, so we can use a um, twist nails and nail it in and and yeah so that's how we're gonna finish that we also need to put obviously straps and that's mostly on that end uh, where you got wall plate we'll do the straps a bit later uh, afterwards we'll be doing uh, obviously first job 
is to finish then we need to form the troughs so we're going to use osb 18 mil osb for that and then we can resin it but obviously we're going to have to wait for weather to be better for resin because it doesn't want to be damp otherwise um system could fail so it doesn't like to be damp damp conditions needs to be dry conditions for that so we'll wait till that is ready for us um and yeah so that's where we are at the minute <coughs> so yeah we'll have some jack rafters to cut in here so we'll do the same thing we'll put four by two across uh, to form our valley um uh, and on the other side same thing and um, but yeah that's where we are and i hope you enjoying this sort of project and i'll catch up with you in a bit So the next step, once you've uh, resined all your joist hangers, um, obviously measure and cut the joists, um, fit them through. I will also nail, nail them, so um, these uh, twist nails, luckily I've got a gun for that, so that will be quick. I as I said, I will leave this section uh, out for a minute um so because we obviously we also need to clean this out it'll be a lot easier when that's uh if that's not fitted um and uh so got some sheets there and it's gonna be easier for me to work i got trestle so i can do whatever i need to do so yeah uh i'm not gonna chat too much i'm cutting all the um joists so I can carry on with the uh, roof pitching uh, so yeah also before you do fit them in make sure that your resin has gone off because you don't want to loosen the um, joist hanger from its position uh, obviously it, it might make your uh, rafters slightly off center which wouldn't be a big problem but you know aesthetically it will look better if it's all as it should be um so yeah so that's where we are and i'm just gonna crack on you probably have noticed why i line oh put my eye on a timber to see which way it bows so i choose uh if there's a bow in a timber like so I'll choose that go upwards and in these scenarios um, it's beneficial because obviously you got uh, you're gonna have dip facing uh, the roof and roof weight will push onto it which therefore will straighten your timber um, and if these would be in floor joists you also would benefit because instead of having a dip in your floor uh, by the time you will have your floor floorboards on etc or the weight on uh, most likely it will flatten rather than being a dip so 
so I, I always eye line the timber to make sure the bow is um, faced upwards same if you said do your ceilings this is floor joist and ceilings ceilings there so I'll make sure that my ceilings joist uh, the bow is facing the ceilings rather than the floor because once you screw the board it will pull down onto it and so therefore with the weight it will flatten it and it's easier to plaster deep than a, a, a belly um, so yeah just one of the things to look out for um, most people probably would do but um, I just thought I'll let you know The next step you want to mark where your rafter is going to be um, which I have done also you mark top where it wants to be uh, the only thing technically if all the joists would be flat and without the bows you could just basically copy paste the measurement of your rafters but uh, unfortunately because they got um, some dips etc it's not gonna be quite possible so i know this this got this is slightly higher because of the difference in width which could be believe you know up to 10 mil 10 millimeters uh on these so-called uh regulated timbers uh, because obviously depending on how long they've been sitting outside if they've been sitting out how they've been sort of stored um, so yeah you need to sort of keep that in mind obviously the underside will be flush um, but top might be slightly different so what do I'll do I'll do this one next oh sorry the end one next uh, or one before end one uh, both sides uh, and then I'll do a middle one this one and then I'll put straight edge or level and mark lines where we want to be so it is as straight as it can be uh, here what we'll do we'll put a plate and we'll nail with a twist nail gun um, to hold that down uh, and they, uh, we have to also do a um, truss clips where our uh, rafters sit on a plate at the front and there so we'll have to do that before we obviously felt it so yeah um, now I'm gonna start cutting uh, rafters and we'll just get on with it 